Ed and staying on the course, it's time to kick off our Western New York PGA Tip of the Week segment. Today, Neil Reedy at Cobblestone Creek is here to fix everyone's favorite club, the driver. I hear a lot of players say, I'm trying to swing my driver like I swing my 7-iron. Uh, in my opinion, those are two different motions. The driver needs to be hit more on the upswing. I think that's kind of the secret to it. We're trying to create an angle of attack that's positive with the driver. It tends to be more negative with the irons and hybrids and even fairy woods, really. First thing I look at for all my students is how they're gripping the club. We try to get the left hand more on top of the club for your right-handed players. If you have my thumb and my forefinger make this letter V, I want that V pointing towards my right shoulder. I can see my logo. See a couple of knuckles in my left hand. I love seeing players with weak grip. Because as soon as I put them in a proper grip and they feel the golf ball come off the club with a proper grip, it's like, whoa, this is, this is way different than how I've been doing it. Uh, I want to do this some more. We love shallow with the driver. So the shallow, as you swing, shallow works into the golf ball this way, where your steep motion tends to get here. And as soon as you do that, either it turns into a duck hook if you turn the face down, ball, you know, low left for a right hand player, or most players tend to keep the face open with that position, and that creates the high slice. From the top of your swing, the club's going to work more from the inside and then up. So that's going to create, again, a high draw look. And swinging from the inside and up encourages a hand and arm release, the club face to rotate, which has tremendously more speed than a slice.